Just call me Dutch. It's a little bit of a, of a sad day. Uh, Nintendo's president, Sa <clears throat> I'm going to screw the name up. Satoru Awata. Uh, Awata, I believe. Oh, Nintendo's president passed away, and at a honestly young age, 55. This is the man who's was with Hal Laboratory, who helped make Super Smash Brothers, helped make Kirby, actually, and S. Actually, that was, he worked a lot in programming, programming for those two games. Pokemon, and Mario, a lot of our, you know, big Nintendo big games. The man loved video games. He loved his customers, honestly. And it's a very sad day to see him passed away and it was kind of a shocker no one knew it just happened but what can you do things just happen and I don't like saying the word uh, death I or dead it's just a dirty word to me I prefer passed away because that seems a little more subtle some people like to use those first two and I can understand you know but to a point to where you still gotta respect a person like that you know I am having that the same reaction when you know Robin Williams passed away and some people are like oh okay I'm like don't you love didn't you love his movies many of his movies from the 90s even some of his uh, later films his, even his early films in the 80s. I just don't understand some people like their reaction. You know, I've, you know, some people were like, you know, they were a little sad. I mean, I was, you know, I grew up with him and I grew up with a Satoru. Satoru. Sorry for screwing up the name. I grew up playing those games since I was a little kid and, you know, it's a very sad day to see him gone. It is. It truly really is. It, Passed away yesterday, but it's gonna linger. And people just shrug out the shows like they don't even care. I mean, you played those games, they're part of you, and he helped build them. But you just rub it off like it's nothing. And I just, I don't, I don't understand that. I understand him with, when, you know, a bad person passed away, oh yeah, whatever. But when a person actually is part of your childhood, you just shrug it off. That's why I call it kind of a beaten heart. A new, like a, not a black heart, you can't say that, but like a gray heart. I understand you don't have to cry, you don't have to be sad for all day for months and weeks and years, but can you at least feel something? That's one thing. Some people in this, mil I believe in the the millennium kids now don't feel, and I think that's something they should. They don't have to be super sad, but they can at least feel sad about something. Well, that's all, all I'm going to talk about today. Hope you all have a good day. Just call me Dutch.